Welcome one and all, this is the Peace Dealer and this video <coughs> is for the 10th of August, 2017. Welcome, my apologies for those of you overseas, worry not, I'll make sure I upload the 11 later today so it's early for you, but regardless, um, Today is just one of those funky days, continuing on yesterday, that reminds you that things are not as they seem. You know, instead of letting the universe troll you, you should troll the universe. For those who may not know what trolling means, trolling is a great way to fool somebody or to waste somebody's time or to be you know it's 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 really known these days as cyberbullying but i see trolling as an advanced form of sarcasm just look at any pisces they troll you on a daily basis and the moon is in pisces so this is really your last shot to really kind of like play a practical joke on the divine. I mean, the next chance you will have is October, maybe, in Libra season. You can't do it during Virgo season, so that's literally not possible. But, yeah, yo. <clears throat> um, have you ever played a practical joke with the divine? Is your concept of, you know, spirituality or the divine that of which you could play practical jokes on non-corporeal or corporeal entities or are you just still stuck in the mental realm of concepts how real are spirits and ghosts to you you know you either believe in intergalactic overlords or not but forget intergalactic overlords that's so moon and aquarius the moon's in Pisces, like, are you talking to ghosts? Are you having constant communication with your spirit guides? Or is this just something that you're having to look up Google to see what it's like, you know? Real clairvoyance, real, real psychic people, they don't have to look up Google um, to understand how to use their abilities. And uh, every single person on this earth is gifted with ability, regardless of what it is. This is one of those days where it uses you and you, you like your own latent powers kind of use you and not it. Anyway, uh, galactically, which I would think this was just more a territory issue on this earth, but galactically... Uh, there's like genjutsu and illusions overplaced. So your spirit guides are trying to show you synchronicities, but then like there are dark forces that immediately try and make you confused on top of adding bullshit synchronicities. So you could be shown the right sign in a way that will still confuse you. So don't worry about this. Um, if you find that you're starting to gain both clarity and confusion today, you're on the right track. Any sort of irritation that is gained with this energy is actually going to help. But I have to bring this back to the beginning. Have you really ever played like, uh, because I'm pretty sure the whole concept of playing practical jokes on the divine might be foreign. You might be like, what? Peace dealer. I need a serious report. Well, you will have homework. Play a practical joke on your spirit guides. Because your heart grants you vision beyond this veil, the eighth house effect with Pisces wants you to get intimate with the divine, with your heart. Play a practical joke on your spirit guides. Some of you may wonder how the hell that's even possible. You got your homework cut out for you. This is literally gonna force you to acknowledge existential energies that you may not see but you do sense 
because today is all about sensing. Without use of your first five senses, you may be put in positions where you only have your intuition and faith to hang on just to show you that, you know, you have a energy body and an aura and it's not, people don't, don't just say this for sure or for so, it's, it's real energy and like all this spiritual stuff. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm almost losing motivation to say a lot of this stuff because um, we're kind of like, we're kind of like lagged. So as a messenger, when, when we're supposed to, like people with Moon and Gemini, Mercury and Gemini, they'll think they'll kind of understand this. Like when, when you keep getting the same messages to give to people, that means humanity isn't getting it. Like the, me the, the messages that um, I'm sure most of you watching this probably feel into my frustration. So don't feel like I'm saying this to you. Maybe you know what I'm going through, but like the, where the, the, the level of messages that we're supposed to be, because all right, it's Jupiter and Libra. We're supposed to be spreading messages of advanced tantric techniques and really trying to gauge in tutorials for walking into other people's dreams. But we're not there yet because people don't even give a damn about each other. So you can't walk in other people's dreams if you don't trust your fellow like man or woman. So we're having this rehash messages. The messages that we're giving now were messages that a lot of Geminis died and reincarnated because we those these are like these are like messages for the seventeen hundreds, you know what I'm saying? Feudal era. And like we're still dealing with a lot of the same issues. And I say this because some of you are frustrated because you're experiencing the symptoms of being in a position where you're more advanced in a certain area and you're having to like wait for other people to play catch up. You know, are you being passive aggressive or are you playing practical jokes on your spirit guides? Because you can pull some kind of spiritual rank to transform the way you see this hierarchy, transform the way you interact with the divine. Uranus and Aries wants to show you that you've been doing it all wrong. Neptune and Pisces wants to show you that you've been brainwashed goddamn near your whole life. Pluto and Capricorn wants to remind you, hey, did you forget? Did you think we wouldn't have revolution without bloodshed? Aww. Aww. So, I mean, Jupiter and Leo, or Jupiter and Libra wants you to make a new friend. So that's the positive thing. It is what it is. You can kick your stress in the nuts. And if I don't make sense, it's because we have the moon in Pisces. It's opposite Mercury and Virgo. So you can try and figure out these confusing aspects of your life, but it's a trap. It's a trap. And, um, <sighs> If you want some serious analytical problem solving, wait till September when the sun's in Virgo. The sun's in Leo, y'all. Are you having fun? Are you like having meaningful moments with people? All right. If, if, if meaningful moments is you eating pizza, watching anime all night, you better live the fuck out of that. Seriously, like do that. If it's actually taking risks and getting to know new people, then do that. Don't be so hang tight about putting your life in order right now because some of you are kind of missing opportunities because you feel like you have to live up to expectations set on your life by other people. You don't. You don't. I do have the change card, so we start this morning off with the bang. This is the extent of the pixels my camera can go. But I had to show you that yin yang symbol. The only thing constant in life is change. So you can surely expect a much needed change. Activate your Merkaba if you can. The next card we have is Miser. So 
the change that's going to happen in the morning is going to be the kind of change where you're like, oh, snap. You know how like you win the lottery and you're like, oh, damn. Okay. I can't let anyone know I won the lottery. Not everyone's like this. Some of you like let everyone know for some reason. But some of you will be like, oh, damn, this is a huge change. I can't let anyone know about this information. And then at the end of the day, you're going to make travel plans. So this is great. Some of you may go on an epic quest and adventure and tell no one. <gasps> That's kind of wise. Anyway, you will be moving beyond illusion. This is really what's going to spark this change. And what's going to move you beyond illusion is the spiritual connection that you either have developed or will develop today. This relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. So yes, some of you may be in spiritual limbo because you know you have this potent spiritual connection, but you're not sure with who or you do know with who, but it just doesn't, it doesn't really look like it's really working because you're aware of the spiritual connection in the spiritual ethers before it is crossed through the realms of potentiality and been made real. Some of you need to stop being boys and girls and be men and women and recognize and realize that you can have a spiritual, emotional connection with someone that is not physical. Some of you are kind of dancing around the concept of, do they feel my energy too? Do I feel their energy too? They don't feel your energy if you're not sure of it. Once you're focused to the point beyond delusion where you know you're connected, you are. It's how it works, especially if you both physically acknowledge it. But a day like today is meant to teach you that you're not connected to someone just because they're physically there. Can you still feel them even when they're miles away? And anyone you have past life connections to, there's going to be a greater revelation of how to make sense of it. Yup, yup, I knew it. I just pulled another card at random and I knew it was going to pull this card. The Union of Hearts. There is a connection of love that defies explanation. You want to talk about twin flames. You want to talk about... Super connections. This is the theme for today, y'all. So, some of y'all are with this person. Some of y'all... You don't even know this partner's trolling you. Like they're more psychically aware. There's always in, in partnerships like this, there's always one person who is more psychically aware and then another person who's just not that psychically aware. Because the more psychically aware one is going to balance them off yin yang style, right? So some of you, you may think some of you, you may think that your twin or your soulmate isn't awake. You don't know they're more awake than you. They're just not telling you. Some of them, some of you, you think they're the more awake one. You're the more awake one. So this doesn't mean you're meant to do that so that um, you get cold water and just pour it over their faces. This is really more um, to do with just acknowledging that you're not crazy and that, you know, you are, you are involved in a connection that defies, you know, explanation and goes beyond this lifetime. So, I mean, regardless of how much you embrace that is up to you. If you don't embrace that, I can understand because some of this shit is just meant to show you that you thought you knew what was up, but you really don't. And some of you actually know more than you're giving yourselves credit for. So regardless, yo, um, don't try and make too much sense of this connection. It's more important you acknowledge that it's, it exists in your life and that it's actually something here for you because you're going to get a lot of clarity, but um, you may not get what you expected to get. Regardless, stay blessed.